All right, guys, I have been sidelined for like a week, pretty much since the last uh, time I made a video. Um, getting older, man, I can't even pinpoint what did it, but my back, my back gave out. Thank God for the Olympics, because I had nothing to do for six days. Like, I, I'm only just starting to feel better, able to move a little bit better. But uh, it's a lesson to all you kids, all you 20-somethings. Take care of your body. Take care of your body because it will give out on you rather abruptly. Um, I've been having different back problems for the last couple months. Usually resolve themselves in a day or two, but not this time. It's just getting worse. Anyway, we find ourselves at, actually, I don't know where this trail is leading us, but uh, it's the Muscoot Reservoir, which I think I've fished like once before, very briefly. Didn't catch anything. Going for bass, it's the evening. I've only got maybe two and a half hours before it's dark. I don't know, got the Texas rig, got the spinner bait. Got a lot of other options in my bag. Um, maybe even top water at some point. I wanna see where this, I haven't seen any water yet. Let's see if it's gonna lead us somewhere. There's a nice old bridge. Okay. Actually, I can get down there. All right, we can work with this. We can work with this. Okay, just gonna go with a classic Texas rig first. Used to do the Texas rig all the time, but now for me, it's kind of rare. It seems like a prime poison ivy spot, but I guess we'll find out. Small mouth and large mouth in here, supposedly. Ooh, pretty deep right off the bat there. Alright, wacky rig on a jig head, something I kind of stumbled into. I guess it's close to what you would call a flick shake, which I did make a video about before, but that's a little more finesse, I think. But anyway, caught a fish on it in that bass tournament, so I'm trying to ride that momentum. Little guy, literally one foot offshore. Okay, first fish out of the Muscoot Reservoir ever. Just a dinker. And I'll tell you what, at least this section of the reservoir that I'm on, I'm impressed with the shore access. Most of these places really are lacking, but I mean, look at this little peninsula. You could cast from anywhere here. The only thing is it's, well, it's really shallow here. Maybe right out to the point here. You can't tell they're doing some kind of training exercise here. We have a lifeless body on the boat and uh, people Practicing rescue techniques, I guess. Fish. What is that? Small? Small largey. Just a little largey. Whoa. Watch the ball. Well, thunder and lightning. This is me exercising some caution, but it really sucks because I only got about an hour of fishing out of that. So, uh, I don't know what I'll turn this into, but something. 
if it lets up and I still have a few minutes of daylight to fish after this storm uh, I will either here or somewhere else but <sighs> mother nature all right passing storm I don't know um, I've sidled up to uh, a little turn off I this is miles away from where I was but it actually looking at the map it might still be the same muskoot reservoir um, but now I'm a little closer to like Cross River New York I don't think this is the Cross River reservoir though I'll give it about 20 minutes there's still lightning thunder pretty heavy rain um, otherwise we gotta call it okay it's not perfect but storm let up I think just enough to uh, feel somewhat safe getting out of the car still a little thunder but uh, and work with it, I guess. All right, I've got the whopper plopper on now. Um, it's not gonna work with this vegetation that's close to shore, so I'm hoping to maybe get some hits out farther and then just, you know, rail them in. But uh, I think I only have one hollow body topwater frog with me. So that would be our other topwater approach. Is that a hit? Yep. No. Yeah? Something tiny. There is a fish on there. There was. Something super small. There was a fish on there though. Believe it or not. Gotta be super careful with these hooks. These are the ones that uh, impaled themselves in me. I had to rip them out with pliers a couple summers ago. The Whopper Plopper has pretty nice hooks to be honest. That's a fish. That's a fish. Way out there. Now can we get him through the weeds? Damn it. They're good hooks, like I said, but I don't know if they're that good. Please be a fish. Please be something on there. I don't think oh yep. Nothing, nothing huge, but. He's still with us. Okay, a little topwater action. And I am not messing around getting this thing out. Nothing huge, but hungry. I'll give you a good look when I unhook him. Yeah, he's hooked in the mouth, but also hooked in his head somewhere. Oh, not even. All right, less than, eh, probably less than a pound. But if you remember, post-storm, it's a good time. Last summer in the Adirondacks, I had a good time with top water after a storm. All right, sorry about the lighting, guys. It's, uh, it's that time. Go, go forth with every fish. I'm gonna have to, uh, Keep that in mind that the second they get to this weedy stuff like I gotta just reel in super fast I think damn it no worst thing that can happen is birds nesting when this when you're losing light okay it wasn't that bad can't win them all everybody This is just stopped here for a quick second I was about to leave I decided to stop at this little spot right by my car I got a swipe on the whopper plopper so let's see if we can make something happen here 
right right around where it is right now. Yep. 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 Nothing huge coming right towards me though. I wonder something was out there. Always gotta be careful unhooking a whopper popper as I've learned the hard way. You have grippers. Grippers are a good idea. He was hooked in the lip, but also on the top of the head. That's what happens with these little guys with a, you know, a double treble situation going on. Okay. Well, not skunked. Now let's see if we can get more of them to bite. Fish. Oh, that's not a bad one. Okay. Gotta get them through this tree. We're just skimming them at this point. That's not bad. Oh, he's going right for the tree. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, big boy. That's a big boy. <sighs> That's a tubby bubber. Oh man. Huh. It's a good one. It's a good one. Let's get a weight. Let's give him a little drink here. Look at that fish. What is he getting? Like two and a half? I'm gonna say two and a half. Healthy boy. Dang. Oh. Minus the gripper. Not as not as heavy as I thought. So let's just say 230, 2.35. Persistence pays off. Not a bad fish. Nothing huge, but Damn, I've been grinding the last two evenings. Probably not gonna see much of it, but anyway, let's let this guy go. He's been through enough. There he goes, powerful. That tree's a Could've lost him with that. Okay, I'm gonna get closer to the action here. Stuck on something? I think he's just in weeds. Still on there. There's a lot of weeds. So I'm not sure how big this dude is. Oh, and did we snag him? Yeah. He's not, well, still a nice fish, but he's not that big, and we snagged him. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we got a... He went under, oh, sh Okay, huh. okay, hooked him in the side. He survived, but uh, I don't know. Chunky, probably be between a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. But 
so we kind of snagged him. All right, so you can see this log here. He managed to slide underneath it, and there's only about, you know, four inches of wa uh, water underneath it. So then, you know, I knew he was snagged, so I wasn't going to go grabbing for him with that nasty treble hook. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm a bonus cast. Now, do we snag him too or do we get him clean? Got him clean. All right. Little chunko, smaller than the last one. But... Got him in the lip and outside the lip. Okay, guys, kind of a weird ending. Oh! Yeah. All right, he's free. <laughs> Forgot, open the gripper when he's in the water. Anyway, the grind is real. Uh, I think I mentioned that I hurt my back, so like kayaking is kind of out of the question right now as far as lifting it on and off the car, so I'm just trying to do uh, what I can. So real grind, I think I went to three, maybe four reservoirs over the last two evenings, but uh, and ended up with four or five fish. Um, but cool to get some top water action. Hope everybody's out there fishing, having a good time, and I hope that uh, the coming month, August, is, is really productive for me and you. So guys, it's getting dark, it's time to go, but please like, please subscribe, and as always, fish like no one's watching.